yesterday, the BM backbenchers, uh, some of them were quoted, particularly in the Malaysian Insider, as objecting, objecting to the government's plan to reduce the use and influence of letters of support. Uh, and this, was, this position was actually supported by none other than the minister himself, who is in charge of the corruption NKRA, uh, Dato Sri Nazri Aziz. Uh, he's in charge of the corruption NKRA and he himself stated that oh this position Pemandu and MACC are wrong. Pemandu and MACC are wrong. So I'll just like to highlight the fact that these support letters, the reduction in the use of support letters is specifically written in the government transformation program. Program Transformasi Kerajaan. Antara satu inisiatif okay, uh, yang disediakan untuk membantras rasuah di negara kita and rasuah merupakan satu isu antara national uh, enam isu NKRA uh, di negara kita so they have they have got six NKRAs one of them corruption and one of the key initiative is to reduce the use of support letters okay Dato Idris Jala has stated many times both in this document and his pub public uh, forums when he speaks support letters has been abused by MPs by ministers in helping companies secure projects okay, with the government. This is with regards to government procurement. MPs, the Barisan National MPs yesterday came out and said, oh no, we need to issue support letters. We need to issue support letters. Why? Because we need to help our constituents. They need to get into universities. Uh, they need to get the, the, what do you call it, the welfare aid. That's why we write support uh, letters for them. I think the, the objections are obviously uh, misdirected. The purpose of this reducing this uh, support letter is to prevent MPs from issuing support letters for contractors to government agencies, be they in the, the, the local government or in the, what do you call it, in the state government or in the federal government. Okay? Reduce the use of support letters to influence civil servants into awarding contracts to the companies that they provide support to. So this is something that we want to stop. This encourages Okay, abuse of power, this encourages leakage and waste wastage and this certainly allows a lot of room for corruption. Okay, this is something we want to stop. I think my statement I do have to read. It is all here. Uh, such, such letters create leakages and wastages in our government expenditure as our civil servants are put in the uncomfortable position of having to please the big shot despite it be possibly being not in the best interest of the government. Such pra practice also dis encourages corruption and political kickbacks for politicians and ministers who issue such letters as the letters are worth more than, uh, more than its weight in gold. We have seen how such letters, such as the one written by the former Minister of Transport, Tan Sri Chang Kong Choi, whose letters of support to Kuala Daman C, owned by Barisan National Backbencher Chairman uh, Datuk Sri Tiong King Singh, resulted in the government having to bear the burden of guaranteeing 3.6 billion of loans to KDSB. The DAP fully supports Pemandu's call for the letters of support to be eliminated and to quote Dato Sri Idris Jala, if the letter says please consider, then it should be taken as please consider and not a must. It is not a must. In fact, we would like to go further in calling upon the government to immediately stop the practice of any letters of support for procurement contracts to demonstrate the government's commitment to its war against corruption, failing which all the beautiful texts written in the GTP uh, the government transformation program are just purely rhetoric and proving that the Barisan National has no ability as well as political will to change.